What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Series TV. This is the first official deer hunt of us for the year and what better place to do it than in Saskatchewan, Canada. I know when I always think of big bucks, I think of Canada. Normally you come here real late season, but they feel pretty confident here at Record Horn that we can get on a couple bucks here in the early season, mid-September. We're excited. Lewis, our guide, just showed us some awesome trail camera pictures of some big bucks that we're hopefully going to get on. Uh, we just got here. We're not going to hunt until tomorrow, so we're going to get some dinner, shoot our bows a little bit, and get in bed, get up bright and early, and go try and kill a deer in the morning. All right, guys, it's morning one here in Saskatchewan. So it's about 5.30. We got a little bit of a walk. Um, we're going to walk into one of their shooting houses that's just sitting over a big field, hoping the deer come moving through. We're hunting the food. It's early season, but we're hunting whitetail in Canada, so I'm excited. Let's go hunt. All right, so it's about three o'clock. We took a little midday break. Um, been out here shooting a little bit, just making sure everything's good to go, but I'm really excited to get back out there. I'm hoping tonight's the night, but gotta make sure I'm on. Oh yeah. So we are headed back to the same blind. Really hoping that 10 point we saw this morning shows up. I don't know if we even got good footage of him. He barely, barely came in, just kind of skirted the edge and went back out into the woods, but that was a nice deer. Definitely the biggest thing I've ever shot, so I hope I get a chance at him tonight. Well, we just got in, we got set up. Still got a lot of daylight left, so fingers crossed something happens tonight. We've got our first deer of the afternoon coming in. We've got two young bucks and a doe out here right now, so it's a good start. Yeah, he's good. Right side coming in. We got a shooter buck out in front of us. Smoked him. Smoked him. Dude, yes. I smoked him. <laughs> right in there. Oh, he's nice. a beaver boy. I just 
just absolutely smoked that deer. That's probably the furthest shot I've ever taken on a whitetail, and I put it right where it needs to be. That's awesome, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> we, we got some cell phone video of Connor's deer, but he is with the world's worst cameraman, and that is me. I just screwed up, and I was on the wrong deer. I feel terrible, but um, it's early. We we saw the video from the cell phone. Hopefully that'll that'll be able to be played. But um, the um, the shot was perfect. It was a long shot too, 43 or 45, something like that. But um, he probably won't bring me along again. So I guess this is kind of like when I was told to do the dishes and I did them wrong and didn't have to do them again. I don't know, but. I'm up now, and uh, we'll see if something happens. It's only about 5.30, 5.45. We have a couple hours of light left, so we'll see if we can double up. All right, so we got out with a little bit of daylight left so we can do the recovery. Um, and I might, I want to add that if anyone is interested in becoming a cameraman for Sirius TV, I'm accepting any and all applications because Seth is fired after this one. Connor at SiriusArchery.com. We encourage anyone and anyone to apply. We're an equal opportunity employer. If so. you know how to push record and run a little bit of camera settings, you'll be strongly considered. How about Ryan Clark? Ryan Clark is not going to be considered. <laughs> we do love you, Ryan. Oh, yeah. All right, so... Um, I saw the arrow break when it went in, when it hit that opposite shoulder, he snapped the fletchings off. So I'm gonna see if I can find that and then we'll start the track that way. Here's what's left of the arrow so far. We've got blood up to the fletchings. And if you don't know, all of our custom arrows have a lifetime warranty. So if this happens to you, you get a new arrow. He, um, he went right up through here. So let's see if we can get on blood or anything. Zing? I think I see him. Where? Is that him right there? Mm -hmm. There he is. Mm -hmm. Where's he where's at? Right here. Oh, okay, now I see him. <laughs> you can, you can, can see him. We can see the shooting house plain as day from here. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. This is without a doubt the biggest deer of my life. Oh. Look at that buck. Look at the big blocky head. Jeez. Oh man. What a great buck. deer. I want to roll him over and see where I hit him. Oh, what a body! What a way to start the season, too. I mean, what is it? It's like mid-September and we've already got a beautiful mature buck on the ground. Hopefully that means good things to come for the rest of the season. Alright guys, this deer, I mean, as you can tell, I'm absolutely just blown away. Don't even really know what to say. This is the biggest deer I've ever shot in my life. And this is exactly what you come to Canada for, is these big bodied, big antler whitetail. Um, I can't thank Record Horn enough. This is an awesome outfit. They've got monster bucks on it, and you're gonna see a lot of them. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag this thing out of here, set him up, get some pictures, and get him skinned out. Well, all right, guys. That's gonna do it for this one. Um, I shot the biggest buck of my life and the season's just getting started. So hopefully we can get a, do a few more, but um, we're gonna wrap this video up. We're gonna go back out in the morning and try and get Seth on a deer. We have a couple days left of this hunt. So hopefully he can shoot one and I'll actually get it on video. Nice. <laughs> but um, really appreciate you all watching these videos. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.